popular Instagram sensation known for remaking film productions, Ikorodu Boys, um, received surprise gifts from Netflix to boost their comedy. And that's not all. They are equally being awarded scholarship by Kunle Afolayo's CAP Film and Television Academy to harness and nurture their talent. Now joining us on the story, of course, is the renowned film director, producer, actor, and founder of CAP Academy, Kunle Afolayo. Hello, Mr. Afolayo. Hello. Hello. Yeah, sorry. Morning. Good morning. I'm sorry, Good this thing, uh, this uh, technology show. thing keeps falling off. <laughs> One thing of all people shouldn't be complaining about that. Now it's your thing. It's our work. Cool. Okay, how are you guys? <laughs> We're fine, thank you. How are you too? I'm fine, thank you. Okay, so like what is it about Ikorodu Boys, in your opinion, that is getting this attention and this, um, of course, scholarship from you? Um, okay, let me put it this way. Uh, for me, um, um, this is so well deserved um, uh, because, I mean, these are not guys who have been in the scene for, for a long time. They started by creating, uh, you know, their own style. And when I say their own style, you know, they didn't come out to say, look, we're filmmakers. They just came out um, using basic tools, which is phone, because I was asking them that, what camera do you guys actually use to shoot? And they said they use phone. Now, uh, and they've used this to recreate um, uh, people's works. Uh, but the style and the artistic way, you know, of doing it is what has gotten them this far. Not um, the fact that they have access to equipment, not the fact that they have access to, uh, you know, uh, the luxury that a lot of people have, you know, when it comes to filmmaking. Um, and I remember some time ago, I reached out to them and I said to them, Look, continue to do what you do because I believe that the whole world is watching. Uh, so when this call came, um, I mean, I was just here in my office and uh, I got an email from uh, Netflix saying, hey, look, um, we like what the Korodu boys are doing and I would like to present them a gift. And we're wondering if this is something you can help handle. Now, by handling it, what they meant was, what do you think they need? What do you think uh, will help them? What can we give them? You know, and I said to them that, look, at that stage, uh, what they, they actually need are two major things. Capacity building is one, which is training so that they can better their knowledge and un understanding of the craft. And then the next thing is they need um, tools equipment you know to work with and they said okay that's fine that they will take care of um uh they will take care of uh you know the equipment side and they said to send them a list so in-house we help draw a list of uh by some of these equipment if they want to do a feature film they can't do with this equipment mm -hmm. so we drew up a list and we sent to netflix and netflix arranged for those things to be bought uh for them Either way, I think it came in at the right time because on social media there has been a lot of, well, I say complaints about things like this where people claim to be helping the grassroots and we ended up finding out that it's audio and all that type of stuff. But still speaking on social media, this, this, um, this let's say, scholarship has been well received and through that started the conversation of, of them, and I guess I want your thoughts on this if you agree or disagree, where people are saying that the Ikorodu boys could possibly have their creativity, will I say dampened, if they get too, will I say in the line, if they get too mainstream, if that makes sense, if there's a lot of attention, maybe there's a lot more pressure and things like that. I don't know, from your perspective, do you think that this type of attention, because we're hoping it's not going to end just here and that obviously they get better. Do you think this type of attention and will I say comfort almost could make or mar the creative process for the Kurdu boys? It could. And this, I mean, of course, we didn't put this out, but I really sat them down. And, um, you know, because a few weeks ago, maybe two weeks ago, I read on the internet where someone complained that they reached out to them for interview 
and uh, they said they, they had to be paid to grant the interview. So when they came, that was one of the first thing I asked them, their leader, and I said, I read this, that is it true? And the guy said, it's not true, that, you know, that there was nothing like that. For me, look, and this I was also discussing with someone this morning, it's something for you to recreate someone's work, maintaining that person's original sound. Because film, one picture is one, sound is another. If you watch all these kids that they do, they recreate the picture, the video, but they don't touch the audio hmm. of the original work. So for them to be able to do their own content, merging original sound with the picture, it is something they have to learn. Mm -hmm. So um, they, they are, I, I mean, I think they have God on their side. And look, I can't take it away from the fact that they are originally blessed, which is where the creativity comes from. But when you now have the attention, I mean, and I said it to him, I said, look, you guys don't be distracted by this attention. Mm. Um, and I, I even cited examples and I said, you know, this person, you know, this person, you know, this person two years ago, if they walk on the street of Lagos, everybody will be shouting. But if they see them now, they'll probably just say, Hey, how are you? Or they won't even greet them at all. Mm. I said, so sustainability I mean, you guys need to continue to be creative. That energy, you know, and that zeal and anxiety that you had when you started Amazing. it. That is what should keep moving you and motivating you. Amazing. When people get into too much comfort, you know, a lot of times the artistic um, uh, zeal and energy drops. drops yeah. You know, and when there's too much, uh, you know, um, um, uh, uh, equipment and all of that to play with. It also acts, affects their original creativity. Thank you so, so I much, Mr. Fulaya, for that. I pray that uh, mm. this is not going to be their own case. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much, thank Mr. Fulaya, for that. So, uh, But one thing that caught my attention the most is that we've seen a lot of privileged people that actually have this equipment but do nothing with it. So what caught my attention the most was the fact that you gave them a scholarship, that is, you're teaching them the nitty-gritty. You're not just giving them fish now. You're teaching them how to catch the fish as well because that is very important because they can have all this equipment and not know how to actually put it into good use. So what are the plans? Apart from the scholarship, how long would they be in there? After they leave the CAP Academy, would they be able to start creating movies using this equipment and then maybe going further and then taking them under your wings, you know, starting movies and stuff like that? Do we have such plans in place for these boys yeah i mean from from our own, own end what i what we promised them was what well, scholarship is one which is to attend the school then mentorship is another thing mm. and this i told them that i would do in my own capacity um the reason everybody's talking about them right now is not because um they are privileged and they've had uh, uh, they had backing of uh, you know people or parents or anybody. This is something they started on their own, and I don't think anybody should uh, come out to then start taking the credit. No, for me, I just think from the point where they are now, um, they need a lot of guidance so that they don't derail. Mm -hmm. You know, they need uh, uh, to learn. Um, um, you know, like how to improve mm -hmm. on the craft. And like I mentioned earlier, it is so important uh, that they learn the two sides to this thing. All the materials they've done, uh, they copied other people's work and they retained other people's, they, I mean, the sound and all of that. Mm. Uh, ordinarily, if we're in the world where people don't value more publicity they could have been sued mm. for Copyright recreating thing. or using other people's materials but it's because those things came out positive mm. all right and um the the platforms like netflix think that i mean you know they they, they there has been a lot of attention 
uh, uh, to their works and, uh, you know, what they stand for, you know, in Africa. And I think that is why they decided to embrace this because it doesn't put them in any bad light. Mm. So okay. these are some of the things that we are going to take upon us if they are open to it. We, you can't force anything. Okay. We've, um, it's one thing for you to offer people scholarship. It's another thing for them to, be ready to, to learn. you know, to think is worth it and to take it. All right. Thank you so much, Mr. Fulano, for sharing more details concerning mm. this um, arrangement. We hope to have you again soon to discuss more things in the entertainment industry. Anytime.